you know, they, they, they glide or whatever, but I, I, anyway with that. So anyways, but I do, I do, I do, I do got a rabbit hole, son. I do got a rabbit hole with some fiducery that's going up there around your waist, Steve. You might, I might send I'm you sure. on site. I might, I might have to okay. put you on site, right? You probably die, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a hundred percent sure, but. I, there is an island off the coast of New York called Plum Island. I don't know if you've ever heard of this before. I've heard the name, but okay. So basically, they'll tell you that it's a it's a it's a foot and mouth or disease clinic or whatever where they study it on cows or whatever something like that. Mm -hmm. but that ain't what it is, man. It is absolutely one hundred percent a top secret U.S. government experimental lab. And that's where hmm. that's where the Montauk Montauk creature rolled up. Remember that little okay. hellhound that rolled up on your beach over there way back in the day or whatever. Yep. That's where it came on. And so I'm gonna connect some dots here. I found yes. out about the dog man when I read a story and I had a podcast on it about this cat named Joe Barger. Joe mm -hmm. Barger is famous in the cryptic community. You can type in YouTube and hear his story, or you can it's like it's episode 16 that we did. He was driving through the Manatees National Forest in Michigan, got attacked by a dog man, put a hole in its head when it was trying to climb in his truck. And then the Department of Homeland Security started sweating him down, telling him he killed one of his assets, right? Mm -hmm. Drewski from the at the uh, I'm sorry, no, Drewski from the Cryptid Warfare podcast, he knows guys that were in the military that were critter getters that were trained to go into the wilderness and hunt and kill these things, right? He knows guys mm -hmm. that were doing it, right? He actually posted a, a podcast that he was watching on his story today that I read where a guy was talking about them doing it as well. I couldn't figure out why, why would they do that? The Joe Barger story led me to another article where they were saying that they create creatures in these labs and they let them go in the forest to either train soldiers to hunt them, to see how they'll behave, and you know, learn from them or use to weaponize them, of course. But the leading theory is, is that there is something in those cave systems in these national parks, and they they breed these things and send them in there to fight those things, whatever's inside there. Mm -hmm. Now I read all, I wrote I wrote all that off until I literally, I did an Instagram post about this as well. In 2021, they tried to pass a bill in Congress making it illegal to do animal-human hybrid testing. And the Department of Homeland Security had it shut down. And so it is not illegal mm. to make animal-human hybrids in the United States of America. It's not illegal. It's, 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 it's legal to do it, right? And so found that fascinating and then there's also if you take the missing persons reports of the United States of America and you lay it across the map of the United States of America all the clusters are the national force bro all of them okay. all the cluster areas you're not going to get snatched in in Newark or New Jersey or or any place like that right yeah. but there's missing person stuff so I actually think that what some of these people are possibly seeing now is because if I was if I was creating these things, the Jersey Pine Barrens would be the absolutely perfect place to let them go, right? To stu yep. to study them. It's it's such a vast, uninhabited yeah. area. Yeah. That you could set something loose there, and it could roam free for a decade before yeah. anyone were to stumble. For sure, you know? right? For sure. Mm -hmm. And easily, if you want to train a train a group of operators to go in there and hunt this thing, right? That's you would, the spot. You would never, yeah, you would never know what was going on in those pine barrens. Right? I'm sure the outlying areas where the roads are at, but like one million acres, yeah. yeah so no, no shot, right? There's, yeah, there's, there's little tiny spots, yes, where people can drive through. There's, there's buildings. There's people that live there, I guess, but that makes up a fraction of one percent. You know, yeah, a of, fraction of it, right? And so, yes, yeah, Steve. So. That's what I think maybe might be going on. I don't think this Jersey Devil's been this 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 Jersey Devil. I got I got I'm, I'm gonna take you around another rabbit hole here. Let's hear it. This Jersey Devil situation is way too old for that, right? 
but it's not too old for that book right there. Mm-hmm. And in that book right there, Steve, I can't reach it. It's the complete 54 book Apocryphy. It's all the books that were taken out of the Bible at the Council of Messina. And it was used mm-hmm. to dumb us down. And in that in that book, there's a book called the Book of Enoch. I don't know. Are you familiar with the Book of Enoch? I've, I've heard it. And, and especially because I've been watching your show here for a while. I've heard you, you and Jay especially mention it quite often. Um, I'm not as familiar with it myself, but I, I have heard of it. Yet. It's all going to change, son. You're all, it's all going to oh. change. Perfect. The Book of Enoch was the, supposed to be the, the chapter right after the Book of Genesis. And the Book Correct. of Enoch makes the Book of Genesis make complete sense if you ever just picked up like if you take somebody that's never read the bible before and say hey look here's the bible they read the book of genesis they're gonna be like what what is what is this right but if you if you take the book of enoch right after it it's like okay well like literally it's like damn you know what I'm saying? Right? so the book of enoch <laughs> the book of, so the, the, the genesis will touch on a topic saying the reason why God flooded the earth was is that the watchers, the angels that were left behind to watch over us, left their posts, came down, found found women attractive, bred with these women, mm. and created giants. They did a lot. They did a lot more than that, man. They did, it, there's one verse in Genesis that says that they sinned against all all creatures and animals, right? No, what they mm-hmm. did was they came down and they actually created the Fae. Every fairy tale you've ever heard of, centaurs, all this other stuff, the Book of Enoch will tell you that those guys created it. Gotcha. And it is three giants were were written in to have survived the flood, right? Three giants mm-hmm. were, right? And also, there's every single culture on the planet has a flood story. Everyone. You can't go from Japan to India. The, Epic of Gilgamesh, Christianity, mm. Islam, all of them have it, right? They also have a very interesting thing where every single civilization has a word for a, a lizard man that can... I thought that was weird, too. So, like, but we'll get that... We're not going to talk about lizard people. Stay out. Pay attention, Steve. All right, stop I'm attention. sorry. I know. I'm taking off track here. So, yeah, it's taking me off track. This thing totally could be left over from that area. This thing could, from, from this area. This thing could totally be left over. Some type of Anunnaki watchers, whatever you want to call it, yeah. experiment that was in it. And the Bible also, too, references several times those who live on the earth and in the earth. We did a thing. We did a podcast about the relics that were found in the Grand Canyon. I think it was the Hopi Indians. Their creation story is that lizard people brought them out from under, from inside the earth, and they and then the lizard people turned into humans. But the Hopi would say they're the first man, right? Right. Interesting. So all kinds of fiducery, Steve, going on around in that man. Subscribe now and turn on the notifications to join us on this extraordinary journey into the unknown.